Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I will be doing a cash unstuffing for the first week of December and I will also be placing stickers and going over all of our expenses in my monthly spread. I will leave timestamps just in case you're not interested in listening to me ramble about all of our expenses and how our week, our spending week went. So I will make sure to do that in case you want to skip ahead and just interested in the cash unstuffing. I always like to give a quick explanation of what it is that I do in these videos, just in case you're new to cash stuffing, you're new to my channel. So I like to use credit cards to pay for all of our expenses from week to week. And once a week, I do pay ourselves back out of our cash envelopes or our sinking funds. In order for us to get the perks of cash back, utilizing our credit cards so that our credit score can increase. Mine is already in the 800s, Brian's is in the 800s. It really does help to use your credit cards. Of course, use them responsibly. If you think you are an overspender and you will spend more than you need or that you should, then don't try this method. But if you are um, pretty self-controlled and you're able to use your credit card and just pay yourself back, then go ahead and try it out. If you already tried out, let me know. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into going over our expenses for the week. Here's my spread for December. I tried to make it a little bit festive. I'm not a decorative planner. I like to keep things pretty simple, but I do have a lot of stickers and I'm trying to use them. There's no point in buying things and then you just have them stored away. So I did make it a little Christmassy, if you guys cannot tell. I went with a lot of green and red, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and go over all of our expenses from the 1st to the 6th. Starting on the 1st, there was only one transaction. Uh, Brian was craving some Chinese food, so he picked up some Chinese food for $31. That was including tip, and we're going to take that out of takeout. There's a lot of bills that come out on the 1st, although some of them, like mortgage, um services and the trash i believe that is for the month of january since for the month of december a lot of these bills were paid with november's last paycheck or november's income so although i still like to put it in on the first of the month even though some of these are going to be paid for the following month you guys can watch my cash stuffings i kind of explain it a little more when i go over my paycheck budgets in those videos so oh and by the way this was my sister-in-law's birthday and her name happens to be Jeanette just like mine spelled the same and we're technically I think we're like a month and a half um she's a month and a half older than me so we're like very similar in a lot of ways I don't know if that's kind of weird but I find it pretty interesting so anyway that was it for the first on the second it was quite a bit of transactions so I'm gonna try to squeeze everything in here I did run a couple errands and I was craving an iced coffee. So I went to Del Taco. They usually have a pretty good iced coffee there, but it was not good. So I ended up throwing it away. I got some two tacos and the whole meal was just not great. So I didn't even finish it. That was a waste of $8. I should have known. I just wanted a snack while I was out running errands and that was a mistake. So and i also went to get some donuts at the donut shop for 17 dollars um, everybody was craving donuts so i just picked some up and that's gonna come out of the kids envelope and then the del taco is gonna come out of my personal envelope i also went to cardenas again for 37 dollars and i say again because in the last week of november i went a whole bunch of times so I spent $37 there. That is coming out of groceries. By the way, excuse the lighting. I know it's super gloomy. Um, it's raining today. And even though I have a ring light right in front of me, it's still really, really dark. I don't know. I can't really do much about that. So excuse the lighting. I know it's pretty dark. We went to um, my brother-in-law's house later on that night to watch the Laker game. So Brian stopped at the liquor store and spent $20 there. He got some beer and a few snacks for my kids. Oh, that looks crooked. I don't like that, I'm gonna fix it. That's also coming out of the miscellaneous envelope. And then while we were at my brother-in-law's house, we ordered Papa John's for $52. That was including tip and that's coming out of takeout. 
and the last thing i ordered one uh, a couple presents on amazon for 78 dollars i don't know where to put it i think i'm just gonna put it up here and that is this transaction is coming out of the christmas sinking fund that looks so weird but that's fine it fits on the third there was only one transaction an atm uh withdrawal plus fee 23 dollars Ryan did have a Christmas party for his job. The company he works for, they had a Christmas party and they did give free drinks, but I think they only gave limited. So he ended up just um, withdrawing $20 to buy a couple more drinks. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it for Saturday. I didn't want to go. For one, we didn't have a babysitter. And for two, his brother also works for the same company and he was going to go by himself. So I just told him, you two just go you know alone together so that was it for saturday on the fourth there was quite a bit of transactions so let me go through it really quickly so i did buy some some shampoo and lotion for my daughter i'm taking that out of household you know what i never realized the word shampoo that's a funny word <laughs> and then i went to dollar tree and i spent 23 dollars there I got a few things. I think I got like um, cleaning gloves, disposable gloves. And of course I always go through the stationary aisle and the stationary aisle always gets me. I think we have, me and Dollar Tree have, have a love affair and it is toxic. <laughs> and then um, we went to the liquor store. We went to my sister-in-law's, um, her husband celebrated her birthday this day. So we went to her house and course snacks for nine dollars that was a cash expense and then i also went to target earlier that day to get her present and i got a few other things let me see i have my notes here on the side so i did get some stuff for school for my son he had a project to do i also got the birthday gift i got a couple things for christmas i can't remember i think it was a present and I got some vitamins, I got myself some stickers, <laughs> and then, um, oh, I got a printer. I finally got a printer. So that is actually coming out of our buffer. That's why there's like this little gray, it looks black, but it's a little gray heart here. And it just represents, you know, some some stuff is coming out of sinking funds, some stuff is coming out of cash envelopes. And for the printer, we are just using our account buffer. And yeah, I finally got a printer. I was just tired of having to go to you know just anywhere just to print something out who doesn't have a printer nowadays in their house i was one that didn't so now we have a printer and it's a fancy one a bluetooth one so um now i'll just be able to print whatever i so choose to and that was it from target and the last thing we did buy some flowers for my sister-in-law on our way to her house and then um on top of her present that we got her we gave her um just ten dollars for you know to get herself some starbucks she loves starbucks so that was it for sunday on the fifth it was a no spend day and i'm not gonna do a no spend day i usually have these little i put these but i'm gonna try and make my spread a little festive and i have a whole bunch of these holiday stickers that they i got from dollar tree and let me see i'm gonna look for something christmasy Oh, here it is. There's another There's another little Christmas tree here. So I'm just going to put it here and that's going to represent a no spend. And um, now the last thing on Tuesday the 6th, it was a few more transactions. So let's go through them really quickly. Most of it was Christmas spending. So I purchased some LED lights for my stepson's room. He wants some fancier LED lights. So that was $57. They get controlled with like the phone and and then um i also purchased a few things from amazon i spent 70 dollars there most of this stuff is coming out of christmas i will let you know if anything else comes out of any other envelope and then at target online i spent 94 dollars that's some more christmas presents i'm still not done christmas shopping but i'm trying to I'm trying to get everything online. I purchased Brian's Christmas gift and I'm not gonna have enough. I'm gonna take it out of two envelopes from his uh, personal envelope. I've been saving some money up for him to buy him something, which happens to be 
the the uh, birthday gift and then did i say christmas gift i meant birthday gift and then i'm taking the rest out of the birthdays envelope so that was 137 dollars i'm not gonna say what it is just in case he watches i doubt it but just in case i made an another online target purchase for 87 dollars some more christmas presents and that is pretty much it by the way if this is your first time watching any of my videos this green color represents sinking funds this pink color represents cash envelopes um, this gray color here represents uh, our buffer anything that comes out of our checking account buffer um, it's this gray color and purple is all of our bills and red is our debts that's pretty much all of the spending for the first week of December. All right, so for the first week of December, we spent a total of $964. $837 of that is going to come out of our cash envelopes or our sinking funds. $29 of that was a cash expense. We did pay with cash. $98 of that is coming out of our checking account buffer. So that totals $127. And like always, I like to just go through the spending tracker, the date, transaction, amount, category. And as you see these little hearts, they correlate to the colors of my stickers that I placed in my monthly spread. Let me turn it over to the back. And this is where I kind of add everything together. Ooh, I don't want to start a fire. So this is pretty much the breakdown. Again, the cash expenses, the buffer um it's just kind of the same thing there was one no spend day for the week for our cash envelopes we spent 232 dollars and nine of those dollars is cash out of our sinking funds we spent 634 dollars 20 of those dollars is cash and then i did make a note here that i'm going to be withdrawing 50 dollars from my savings envelope from my personal sinking funds binder because i did open a roth ira and I deposited $50 to be able to get um, $150 as a promotion. So I am going to be taking it out of my envelope. And I'm probably going to take out a little bit more than $50 just to be able to add more into the Roth IRA. I will see how much right now when I get into the unstuffing. So that's pretty much it for that. I'm going to place this here to the side. And let's go ahead and start with... I'm going to start with sinking funds. So this is one of my sinking funds binder and i'm starting with health oh by the way i have ten dollars here in change one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just in case i need some change i usually always do so health that's gonna be fifteen dollars i did purchase some vitamins for brian on one of the target runs because he ran out and you know, we all need vitamins. <laughs> so now in health, I have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91. And earlier, I just thought about, um, let me place it right here. I, I did make notes. I had these already, but I changed it to nicer notes. I mean, nicer post-its. I'm going to put massages here because... This is pretty much a um, little reminders of what I'm saving for. So for example, this health envelope, medicines, vitamins, copays, glasses, sick days, because Brian doesn't get paid sick days. So I do want to save some for, um, for that. And then massages because his body does, you know, his job is a physical job. So um, he does need massages from time to time. He's never had one and I've been encouraging him to get a massage because i'm pretty sure he's gonna feel a whole lot better but you know men they're so hard at it <laughs> but i do want to save for that so anyway next is school that's going to be 13 dollars out of here so i have 23 i'm gonna get 10 dollars back and this was for some supplies for i i talked about it when i went over the expenses for my son, he had a project. I bought some like stickers and uh, I think construction paper for his, his uh, he needed to do a science, you know, display board. Anyway, so 20, 40, 60, 85, 91 in school. Is that the same amount? It's like the same amount as health, huh? That's kind of, that's a coincidence. Okay, let me check these off just 
not to confuse myself christmas we are going to take 411 dollars out of there i still have to do quite a bit christmas shopping one two three four hundred and ten eleven let me just make sure it's 411. One, two, three, four hundred and five, ten, eleven. Yep. I'm still, we are still not done. We still have quite a few people to shop for. I like to leave the ones that are a little bit more difficult. I don't know what to, not that they're difficult to shop for because they're picky. It's just, you know, you don't know what to get people. So um, now Christmas has 500. Of course, it's in the bank. 600, 650, 700, 720, 740, 760. 765, 770, 771, 772. I still have a little bit of rollover here and I am going to put it into Christmas, but I'm gonna do that in tomorrow's video, which is gonna be the uh, first paycheck cash stuffing. I'm really late with that video, but it's coming you guys. So that's gonna be it for Christmas. I did already get Brian's um, Christmas gift. We did give each other $100 for you know as an exchange for each other i did go over that so i am gonna have to probably get it from one of my personal sneaky ones but it's okay he love i'm pretty sure he's gonna love what i got him so birthdays let's go into birthdays i think we're done with this one birthdays is in this lavender color here so it's 75 but 20 was cash so i'm only gonna take out 55 20, 40, 55, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, yeah. And this was for my sister-in-law's birthday gift. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 30, 31, 32, 132 left. Some of it was for her um, birthday present and a little bit was for, uh, because I was short in for Brian's birthday present. And then let's go, I think we're done here. Let me go into this gray one. This is gonna be for Brian's gift, birthday gift. I'm gonna take out, I think it's everything that's in here. So 120, 50, 70, 90, 105, 10, 15, 20, yeah. I don't want to say what I got him. Ah, whatever, I'm gonna say it anyway. So he's been wanting a Cuban link chain. Of course I did not get him a real gold one. It's gold plated silver. Um, it's really, really nice. So yeah, that's what I got him. I hope he loves it. It is a little thinner than I thought, but I think he's gonna like it because he's not a very flashy person. He doesn't really like jewelry, me either, but He's been wanting one for a while, so I got him that. And we're done there. Now I'm gonna go into our cash envelopes. So let's jump over to here. Nothing and gas. Miscellaneous, I'm gonna take $20 out. And this is mainly for all of the um, liquor store transactions. So let me check these off let's go to kids that's going to be 26 well it's 26 dollars, but nine of that was cash oh 26 minus nine so 17 dollars from kids so i have 20 i'm gonna get three dollars back one two let me get an uglier dollar three so we have 14 left in kids and personal um let me let's just do that last i'm gonna go into takeout 83 dollars out of here so 50 60 70 one two three i'm short ten dollars so i don't know where i'm gonna take that from let's see where should i take it from hmm let's take it from kids <laughs> They can spare, they can spare some money. So 
so actually the pizza that i got papa john's it was pretty pricey and they wanted papa john's so guess what you guys are paying for it so let me let me use black i'm going to put um take out short minus 10 so i already updated for the first paycheck of december so it says there's 39 so i'm going to take the 10 out and it'll be 29 but that's I'm kind of jumping ahead. I probably just confused you. I understand myself. <laughs> okay, so takeout, we are done there. Let me go ahead and update takeout too because I think I did put my, like I had a negative. So I'm putting that I'm taking it from kids. Okay, so we are good there. Groceries, $37. 20, 30, 42. So 42 minus 37. I think I have to give $5 back. Yeah. Okay, so that's, let me get an uglier five. I do recycle this money for the cash stuffing. So I like to get nicer bills. So that's $5 left there. And then in household, we are taking $35 out. 30, 10, and a 5. And we have $1 left. And that was for the shampoo, lotion for my daughter, and then a few household things that I got from the Dollar Tree. So we are done here. And, oh, my dollar. Let me fix that. Okay. And now I'm going to take the... $50 from my savings. This is my personal savings binder. I mainly stuff this most of the time just with my YouTube paycheck whenever I do receive one. So this is the $50 that um, I already had deposited and I still have one, two, three, four, five hundred and forty-five left. Let's see. I'm going to deposit an additional $300 into my Roth. I would deposit everything, but I want to hold on to it for a little bit just in case, you know, something comes up and we have to use some of this. And um, either way, we still have until April to deposit for the Roth, into our Roth for the year of 2022. So... I can always deposit it later. So that's going to be an additional $300. So it's going to be the, let's see, 837 plus the $50 that I had deposited into my Roth. And then an additional 300 that I'm going to deposit. Oh, what did I do? 837 plus 50 plus 300. So I should have $1,187. But 350 of that is to go into my Roth. And I don't know if I should just leave the amount that I have here or take it out. I, I'll, I guess I'll figure it out off camera. So let me go ahead and count all of this money. We should have 1187 Oh, let me take out the $10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the 10 that I had for change in the beginning. I'm just going to leave it there. And let me make a note that I'm going to add an additional 300. Today is the 12th, I think. What day is it? Yeah, it's the 12th. Okay. So we should have 1187. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 750, 800. Ooh, what's with me in this calculator? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Plus 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Plus well, 56. How much did I say we had to have? 1187? Am I missing something? Oh, yes, I am. I didn't take out the $31 from my personal um, 
my personal spending. One second. I have my little backpack here. I bought this one at Dee Dee's discount a while back. And you guys, shop, shop your closet. Because I had like a rundown backpack and this cute one was just sitting in my closet. Let me go ahead and grab my little envelope. So we need $31 out of here. I have 40, so I need to give myself $9 back. I can't believe I actually remember that. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me get uglier dollar bills. Three, four. Okay. We should have everything now. So now I have $14 left for my personal spending. By the way, if you have a Didi's close to you, they always have cute stuff. You just gotta look. It is pretty small, but... I don't put too much stuff in here. It's not what's in my bag worthy of a video. <laughs> All right, so there is that. I'm gonna give it a quick count one more time just to make sure 1187. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 800. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, ooh. 20, 40, you know what, this counting is a mess, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, plus 32, yes, we have $1,187. And I am going to be using this for my cash stuffing. That's going to be it for this video, you guys. If you made it up until this point, thank you so much. And go ahead and put any um, purple emoji. I have my little purple tree, purple candle, my purple binders. I'm all purpled out, my purple pen. <laughs> if you cannot tell, I love purple. So um, yeah, go ahead and do that. And I will be announcing the winner of the $25 gift card slash cash cash app um, in tomorrow's video in my cash stuffing video so i do have i will link the video for that giveaway you still have time to enter and um, i still need to do a 5k giveaway that was just a random giveaway so um, i will have the winner tomorrow i will choose a winner tonight and um yeah that's gonna be it i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night see you next time bye